Offered quick cash for your business or personal use? Be careful, loan scams are on the rise. From January to April this year, victims of loan scams were swindled of $3.3 million, compared to $1.2 million for the same period last year. Today, I'd like to share with you more about loan scams and what you can do to avoid becoming a victim. Ben was one of those who unfortunately fell prey to such a scam. Let's hear from him. Hi, Ben. Tell us what happened. Hey, hi, Misun. Back then, I was setting up a business and I needed funds urgently. So I received a text message offering quick cash at a very, very low interest rate, much lower compared to banks. Therefore, I fell for it. Did you know that licensed moneylenders are not allowed to advertise via text messages? Initially, I thought they were licensed and they didn't require credit screening. I also found out that they stole licensed moneylenders' company information off the net and pretended to be them. Ben, how did they convince you to send over your money? They were actually very nice at first. They said they would not cheat me and I fell for all their sweet talk and their sales speech. So they asked me for my bank account number. They were going to do a trial loan of $700 and they transferred it to my bank account. After which, I'm supposed to transfer $1,000 back to them. $300 extra is for admin fee. And they promised that they will reimburse me back these $300. When did you get suspicious? I got very suspicious when they keep asking for more money. Like $1,000 for account opening and much more admin fee. And when I wanted to cancel the loan, they asked for another additional $500 for a cancellation fee. That's when I decided to file for a police report. Did you recover your money? No, I did not recover any money. All these are full of lies. It's much safer to take a loan from banks and licensed money lender. Thank you, Ben. I'm sorry to hear about your experience. Thank you, Ms. Soon. Like Ben, victims of loan scams suffer monetary losses and may be harassed for further payments. Let's talk to Superintendent Shannon Lin from the SPF. Hi, Shannon. How can we ensure that we are dealing with a licensed money lender? Hi, ma'am. A licensed money lender cannot advertise loan services via cold calls, unsolicited text messages, or even on social media or online marketplace platforms. Scammers are also increasingly masquerading themselves as licensed money lenders by creating websites that mimic those of the licensed money lenders. What about loan approval practices? So, a licensed money lender requires a borrower to be physically present at the licensed money lender's approved place of business, where the money lender will then verify the borrower's identity in person before a loan is granted. An admin fee may be charged after a loan is granted, but this is usually deducted from the principal loan amount that is disbursed to the borrower. What's your advice for all of us watching? If you receive an unsolicited text message, report and block the numbers immediately. Also, do not give out your personal information such as your SING pass, your bank account details, credit card details, or even your one-time passwords to anyone, including your family and friends. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, ma'am. You have heard from Superintendent Shannon. If you receive a cold call, an unsolicited text message, or see a Facebook ad asking if you'd like to take up a loan, please do not respond. Block and report the number to the police via the eyewitness platform. And if you ever need a loan, please check up the Ministry of Law's website for the full list of licensed moneylenders. Like all scams, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Stay tuned for our next episode.